So here's where I ended up. Uh, I've got three of these little LEDs just to try this technique out. Sitting on, if I can focus please, uh, foil tracks and I've got two of these uh, three volt uh, coin cell batteries here and the detail here is that little black line is some of this stuff so I painted a line on some paper and um, just measured its resistance and cut it down to a piece till I had about um, a thousand ohms, give or take a kilo. And so that's working pretty nicely. I'm going to leave it overnight to see. This is just regular um, sticky tape. See if that tape warms up a little bit and see if any connections break. I mean, you know, the connections aren't great, obviously. All you got to do is jiggle it a little bit and you're going to lose something. But um, I think actually you can get permanent sticky tape that they use for, you know, like permanent assembly. So you could also do that. Anyway, so this is um, the beginning of something that um, I've been wanting to work on. Uh, the next step is to obviously make more complex circuits and uh, figure out how to deal with uh, transistors and you know, stuff like that. But putting these LEDs on here was super simple. I just put, got these tiny little suckers, those little SMD ones, and um, there'd be a pain to solder, obviously. But um, by just dropping them onto some tape and then aligning the tape onto the tracks, that was, um, you know, it was really straightforward. And uh, well, I mean, these are probably too fiddly, but what I'm shooting for is something that the kids could do, I think. Um, I mean, they, you know, they should learn to solder too, but um, this makes it a more uh, child-friendly activity. And a bunch of other people that, you know, don't solder for whatever reason, like myself, because I'm sitting in the kitchen with my soldering irons at the hack space. Alright, that's all i got. Bye.